In this video, I'll introduce you to the task needed to install and configure Oracle Compute Cloud Customer. The Compute Cloud Customer rack is installed in your data center, connected to your Oracle Cloud infrastructure tenancy, and fully managed by Oracle. Before you can use Compute Cloud Customer, you must prepare your site for the installation of the rack. Refer to the documentation for instructions for preparing your site. This includes space requirements, flooring requirements, electrical power requirements, environmental requirements, and customer site network requirements. The documentation also includes a site checklist for Compute Cloud Customer that you can use to track progress as you prepare your site. Oracle will validate site requirements in your data center before installing Compute Cloud Customer. Step two is to prepare your Oracle Cloud infrastructure tenancy. You can prepare your tenancy before the Compute Cloud Customer Rack is delivered to your site. Step three, create and connect a Compute Cloud Customer infrastructure to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure is covered in another video. Preparing your OCI tenancy includes setting up these items, federated identity provider, users and groups, compartments, policies, virtual cloud network, or VCN with a subnet. Your Oracle representative will assist you in setting up a federated identity provider to manage authentication. You will use the same credentials to access Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and Compute Cloud Customer. If your OCI tenancy is already configured, share your federated identity information with your Oracle representative. Otherwise, work with your Oracle representative to establish a federated identity provider. Setting up users and groups, compartments, and policies are the next steps needed. But first, I'll give a quick overview of these items. The Identity and Access Management, or IAM service, lets you control who has access to your cloud resources. For example, who can create compute instances, block storage volumes, and virtual cloud networks. With the IAM service, you can control what type of access a group of users have and to which specific resources. IAM components include users who manage your cloud resources, groups are a collection of users, who need the same type of access to a particular set of cloud resources or to a compartment. A compartment is a collection of related resources and are a fundamental component for organizing and isolating your cloud resources. A policy specifies who can access which cloud resources and how. Access to cloud resources is granted at the group and compartment level. Setting up users and groups, compartments, and policies are customer activities that need to be completed from the Oracle Cloud Console or the OCI CLI or the OCI API. These tasks will be covered in another video. The final requirement when preparing your OCI tenancy is to set up a virtual cloud network with the subnet. For guidance on setting up VCNs and subnets, check out the video Introducing Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Networks and the video, Create a Virtual Cloud Network, and also the video, Use Your VCN Wizard to Create a Virtual Cloud Network. These and other Oracle Cloud Infrastructure training videos are available on YouTube and at www.oracle.com slash go to slash Linux Cloud Learning. Refer to the Oracle Compute Cloud Customer documentation. And for additional training videos like this, go to www.oracle.com slash go to slash OLTrain. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching.